my mission was kind of unique because we got Facebook. We were able to use Facebook and other technology to, to share the gospel. And this is kind of strange, but one of the strongest spiritual experiences I had on my mission, which there were a lot, and I could share those for days, but one of them was while I was watching the Hastening the Work of Salvation broadcast from the Brethren, in which I felt inspired. I felt like there was something that I had to accomplish. I wasn't sure exactly what that was, but I, I felt like it had something to do with blogging or Facebook or something. So walking away from that, I, I felt like the Lord wanted me to, to reach out over the internet. So a few days went by and I, I sat there and I pondered and prayed about what it was I was supposed to be doing. And eventually I got the thought of starting a Facebook page. And this revelation kind of continued to flow. It wasn't a constant thing. As, as my pride got in the way, the revelation ceased and it slowed down. But it continued to flow as I asked for it and as I sought after it in a righteous way. Not for my own personal gratification, but to further the work of the Lord. And as a result, I was inspired to create a Facebook page called Hastening the Work of Salvation. It was a name that I hadn't even thought of. I wrote down, in fact, a list of about 80 names for a Facebook page that I could create. And all of a sudden, it just clicked. After I put in a lot of effort, I think that's how the Lord usually works. After we put in a lot of effort, the revelation came. And it was direct. It was specific that I needed to make a Facebook page titled that. And a couple days after the page was created, I had like 200 likes. And then I jumped up to 800 likes and 1,000 likes. And it eventually made it up to about 12,000 likes. In which every single post I was making was reaching up to 20,000 to 30,000 people. Now, Facebook has changed since. But at the time, I was able to make a large impact on many people simply because I followed inspiration. Well, eventually that... Facebook page got shut down because the church made a policy, which I think is actually a good policy, in which missionaries are only allowed to operate their own personal Facebook pages. And so that's when I started to doubt. I was wondering if I really had been receiving inspiration. And I was praying and I was pondering. I was trying to figure out the next step I needed to take. And the Lord inspired me again. He literally told me to start making videos. It's something that I've never done before. I, I never even thought to do it. I despise social media. I'd never used social media very much before my mission. But he told me to make videos, and I started making videos, and they were the most awkward things in the world. I had no editing capabilities. There was nowhere I could, could do the editing. I had this cheap little camera to start out with until we got iPads. But I started making these videos, and... They weren't turning out. And so I decided to stop. But every single time I decided to stop making these videos to share the gospel, something happened to reinforce that inspiration that I received to continue making those videos. And eventually, those videos started to reach more and more people. I started getting a lot better at making those videos, and I could do it with one or two takes. Now, this isn't something that I'm good at. It's something that... that succeeded simply because I had the Lord or I was a tool in the Lord's hands. I wasn't doing it myself. I needed his help as I was making those videos. And so I've compiled a list of, of people who have reached out and thanked me for, for all of those things that I did over the internet, which honestly wasn't that much, but it gave me comfort to know that I was following inspiration I was doing what the Lord wanted me to do. And at times I, I fell short, but each time I turned to the Lord and I prayed and sought for inspiration with lots of effort, the inspiration came. And I continued to find success in the work. And I know that every single missionary out there has something that they can bring to the mission, has something that they can bring to the church. And as long as they continue to seek for revelation, and do the things that they know are right, then the revelation will continue to come. 
and they will find out exactly what the Lord has in store for them. Because I believe that each of us have a specific mission to accomplish on this earth. And that mission will only be fulfilled if you choose to fulfill it. 